everyone. Today we will be performing casein hydrolysis test. So like always, before we carry on any work in microbiology, we need to sterilize our hands first. This is the amount of which we sterilize our hands. And then we will explain a bit about what casein hydrolysis test is. So this is casein agar. We can add milk to nutrient agar. And as you can see, it is uh, in an opaque medium, and that is because of the colloid, uh, colloidal suspension of the skim milk that is present over there. There is casein all around here. So casein is a protein, and there are certain bacteria which is capable of breaking down casein. So certain bacteria, say like Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, uh, Bacillus clostridium that are found in soil, then uh, Pseudomonas. These are the bacteria they, that are capable of producing some extracellular enzymes, say like proteas. And if we precisely say a specific type of proteas called caseinase, so which can break down casein. So this is a test to determine whether the organism that we have for test today, this is the test culture that we have, whether this particular colonies of bacteria are capable of breaking down casein or not. So for that we are carrying out casein hydrolysis test. So to begin with, we will heat the loop. And then we'll cool it off. We'll take a very small colony. open the plate near the flame and then we will make a continuous stream. That's all. I think it is visible, the continuous stream is visible. And after that we will heat the loop again, we will leave it and this plate now is done we will have to incubate it at 24 degrees uh, 24 hours at 37 degree and it may take about 24 to 48 hours maybe we need, we may have to incubate it for two days so what will happen is if this particular bacterial suspension colony that we have inoculated into this casein agar or casein plate if it is capable of breaking down casein then what will happen once the bacteria grows into the stream it will be able to lyse as it produces casein as enzyme the protease it will break down the casein that is because casein is present all around the plate so it will break down the casein around it with the help of the protein the casein as that it produces so the enzyme that it produces so as a result of that now that the plate looks opaque after the bacteria grows and if it is capable of breaking down casein then we will be able to see a zone of clearance around the, around the bacterial column so if we see zone of clearance around the bacterial colonies, that indicates that the bacteria or the test specimen that we have taken is positive for casein hydrolysis or it can break down casein. And if we have bacterial growth here, but there is no zone of inhibition or there is no zone of clearance, that indicates that the bacteria is not capable of lysing or hydrolyzing casein and that means it cannot produce the caseinase or the protease enzyme. So that is how we interpret the result. If there is clear zone of lysis, that indicates it is casein positive. If there are no zone of lysis but bacterial growth, that it is casein negative. So now we will incubate it and after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees centigrade, which may even take up to 48 hours, we will observe whether we find a clear zone to call it casein positive or there is no such clear zone to call it casein negative.